It's no secret that rich people operate highly different than the likes of poor people. But in today's video, I'm not going to be talking about numbers and money. Nope. I am going to be discussing the mindset of how the rich think versus how the poor think. Hey, Freedom Fruglers, it is time for another wonderful Finance Friday. And for today's video, I want to teach you about some of the things that I learned when it came to the rich versus the poor. Now, keep in mind, you can have a lot of money and still be poor because of the way you think and spend money. All right. So it's not about how much money you get. It's what you do with it. I'll tell you guys a story. I went from making $15 an hour and being stupid with my money to being at my lowest, making $9 an hour, which is actually what started my journey because I was forced to budget and spend wisely. I really had to manage that money and it taught me a lot. And that was back in 2016. I started my journey in 2017. But even though I was making more money in my earlier life, I wasn't wise with it. And you know what the Bible says? A poor man and his money shall soon fart. <laughs> so, so fart! <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know what the Bible says? A fool and his money will soon part. But now I'm wise and my money stays with me. <laughs> uh, by the way, my name is Izzy. I would love to be your virtual mentor. And if you would like me to be your virtual mentor and teach you everything that I know about finance, productivity, and just general well-being, hit that like button, subscribe, and definitely hit the bell notification so you get notified when I drop new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Number one, the rich spend on assets, the poor spend on liabilities. Let's put this in perspective. Poor people get money, whether it's a check, income tax, refund, lottery winnings, whatever, and they spend it immediately on liabilities. This can be high rent. This can be expensive clothing. This can be an expensive car, whatever it is. Alternatively, rich people buy into things that make them more money or it appreciates over time. So these are things like art, stocks, uh, in, uh, investing into businesses or creating their own businesses. I have a new thought when it comes to spending my money. And that is, if it can't be written off on my taxes, don't buy it. All right. <laughs> Number two, poor people work on losing money. Rich people continuously systemize what's called cash flow. When you get a paycheck, what happens when it comes to a poor mindset? It comes in, money comes in, and it goes straight out into other people's pockets. The rich is the exact same way, but it's a different scenario, and it's called cash flow. Money comes in, and each particular dollar is working towards a specific goal, whether it is making more money or paying for an expense. The better the cash flow system, the more it is likely that more money will flow in than coming out. So if you have a poor mindset, you'll have more money coming out than money coming in. And this is true when you look at your bank statements, okay? You get your bank statements and you'll see that you only have two deposits and you'll have like hundreds of outgoing transactions. Whereas rich people, it's reverse. They'll have hundreds of deposits and maybe a few uh, uh, outgoing transactions. The key to understanding this is that we all have bills, but choosing what you do with that extra money, or if you don't have extra money, you want to cut down on your expenses, but choosing what you want to do with your extra money and focus on, on a positive cash flow puts you on par with the rich. Number three, poor people focus on time. The rich focus on value. Okay. I saw a Tyler Perry interview that spoke to me and it simply said, poor people are always busy. He never understood why poor people are just always busy. And that holds true because when I had a poor mindset, I just always thought that I need to be doing more work and I need to be doing this. I need to stay busy in order to justify me making more income. Never happened by the way, but to make more income, 
Poor people think that they need to work more hours. This leads to no time to enjoy life, and this can also be physically damaging. All right? I am one to attest to that, okay? I used to spend hours upon hours staying up till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning working on my craft just because I thought that that's what would make me rich. In truth, I was too busy doing a whole lot of nothing. The rich believe that time is more important than the money itself. In order to make more time to enjoy life, they focus on providing more value because more value equals more money. In my last video, I talked about things that you should consider before thinking about getting a second job. And one of those was instead of focusing on more time to make more money, find a way to become more valuable, whether that's to learn a new skill, sell some stuff, whatever you got to do to bring more value. Because like I said, more value equals more money. Number four, poor people buy for status and rich people buy for purpose. This always seemed backwards to me. I, growing up, I used to see people in my area, they would wear $200 plus shoes, $500, $600 outfits, and were riding the city bus like I was, or in most cases, walking. Meanwhile, in the areas where more money was present, People drove beat up cars. I mean, there were a few nice ones here and there, but everyone seemed to dress what we call basic, okay? Uh, you see plain t-shirt, some jeans, some shoes that, you know, wasn't hyped or, you know, wasn't anything to write home about. But I learned something. Poor people buy things to look rich and for status, okay? And the truth is, Nobody cares whatsoever. To overcompensate the lack of money, they need the best clothes, the biggest TVs, the most luxurious cars, whatever they need to feel like they need to look rich, okay? And what's crazy about it is rich people buy because the thing that they need has a purpose, okay? And generally, big purchases mean more income and a more positive cash flow in return. Try this. All right. When you go to buy something, think about why you want that item. OK, then after you think about why you want it, think about how much you make an hour. Then think about how many hours you would have to work to get this item. And if you're willing to work that many hours to get that item, then be my guest and get it. The last one, number five, poor people spend their principal amount. Rich people spend on the interest. To simply put it, principal is the initial amount that you get. Interest is the amount that the principal accrues over time. If you have $1,000 and spend $1,000, you've spent all of your principal and that's it. On the other hand, if you have $1,000 and that $1,000 makes you $500, You've made 50% interest, and if you only spend that $500 that that $1,000 made, you'll still have the principal. Poor people spend their principal, okay? They get a paycheck, and then it's gone. So they continue a vicious cycle of trading time for money, which if you want to get rich, my friend, you should never trade your time for money. No one has ever gotten rich by spending trading their time for money. Rich people invest their principal, make money off of that principal or accrue interest, then spend the interest money. Meanwhile, the principal is left to still accrue more interest. Rich people may invest $100,000 into the stock market. Over time, that $100,000 makes them $100,000. So they have $100,000 to spend. Meanwhile, that $100,000 that they initially invested is making them a hundred thousand more dollars. And that's where you want to be in life. Try this. Instead of buying something that you really want right away, find a way to use the money that you want to spend to make more money. Then spend from the interest that you make off of that money. That way you can make more money off of the money that you invested. In conclusion, it doesn't matter how much money you have. 
If your mindset is poor, you are poor, my friend. But I don't want you to be poor. I want you to apply some of the action steps in your life to change your life, okay? The first thing you need to do, though, is learn how to budget. And if you need to learn how to budget, guess what? You're in luck. I have a 10-video series here on YouTube. It's called No Discipline Budgeting. Check out my No Discipline Budgeting series. Link is in the description below. If you're ready to be rich by typing, I'm ready to be rich, Izzy. Lastly, if there's anything that I miss or any topics that you would like me to cover, I'm happy to see those below as well. Once again, I've been your virtual mentor, Izzy. And until next time, stay frugal until you're free. Peace.